The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. Strauss here with realagriculture.com. I'm back here today with another Canola School episode and I have here with me Hector Carcamo who is a research scientist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. How's it going today? Hello everyone, I'm doing all right. Feeling a little bit happier now we got a bit of rain. Yes, absolutely. And, and happier, especially when we're looking at the specific insect we're here to talk about today, and that is flea beetles. Now, you've done a ton of work with flea beetles in the past. What, what are some of the things you're looking at right now? Uh, yes, uh, recently we have been looking at validating the economic thresholds for flea beetles. Um, we completed a study and we have confirmed that the uh, economic threshold for flea beetles is around 25% of damage on the cotyledons. And more recently, we have been looking at the effect of uh, seeding rates and plant densities on uh, flea beetles and also comparing how efficacious foliar sprays are compared to seed treatments. So that's some of the work that we have been doing. And uh, one other area that we have been doing work for many years is to identify the predators that are uh, affecting flea beetles and we have been collaborating with other scientists that uh, do molecular biology work so we we're hoping that that work eventually will provide some useful information for growers so now when we're looking at economic thresholds that obviously means that's where it pays to spray now 25 percent what does that look like on the cotyledons uh, if you're looking at a cotyledon with 25%, uh, usually for a grower, sometimes it looks worse than what it is, <laughs> but it, uh, it, it, may, it may start to look quite bad at 25%. And uh, I, was, uh, I usually tell people that the economic threshold is a guideline that we use right, to, to um, be able to only spray the insecticide if you absolutely must spray the insecticide, right? Because if you are below that threshold, you should not really be spraying. Uh, allow the natural enemies to, to uh, help us manage the flea beetles by eating them, right? But plants can actually tolerate, canola plants are extremely good at tolerating uh, insect feeding. So in reality, uh, canola plant can even take up to 50% of defoliation, which if you see a plant with 50% uh, defoliation, it will look really bad. It will be all ragged up and all eaten up. So, uh, but canola plants can actually tolerate a lot of a lot of damage. We say 25% because flea beetle damage can uh, accumulate very rapidly, right? Especially if you have a hot day. So we say, okay, 25% time to get out and spray because usually by the time you actually spray the actual injury to the plant will be much higher than 25%, but we know that the plants can still tolerate that, that level of damage. Especially if you have a little bit of rain. Uh, if, if the conditions are very dry and the plants are very stressed, then it's a different story. They are not able to compensate as much. But normally canola plants can tolerate quite a bit of damage. So by the time you have three or four true leaves on your canola plants and, and you have some rain, uh, the fertility is good, then you shouldn't really be spraying for flea beetles because by that time the plants can afford to feed the flea beetles, so to speak, and you shouldn't really be wasting your money on spraying and also causing the, the non-target effects of uh, killing the beneficial insects that are on the ground. <laughs> 